sat on one, then there were nine. Nine little rainbow people thought they would be late. The taxi left one behind and then there were eight. Eight little rainbow people, one of them was Kevin. He stopped to tie his shoe and then there were seven. Seven little rainbow people stopped to pick up sticks. A baboon took one by the hand and then there were six. Six little rainbow people tried to rob a hive. A bee stung one on the nose, then there were five. Five little rainbow people heard a lion roar. Tundi stopped to look around, then there were four. Four little rainbow people climbing up a tree. A branch broke. Oopsie daisy. Then there were three. Three little rainbow people tasted mama's brew. One had a sip too much. And then there were two. Two little rainbow people playing in the sun. One forgot his sunscreen. And then there was one. One little rainbow person saw the day was done, went to bed so sleepy, then there were none. The forgotten plateau of the elephants, a land of many mysteries and wonders. In one of those villages here, a young boy called Mavufa is ready to venture into the mountain in search of these mysteries. <laughs> I've been waiting for this moment for a very long time. I will go now and meet him where the rocks speak out.
Young boy, do not be afraid. The grandmother elephant of the plateau. The mountain you called Makabe. <laughs> I see you have ventured to these sacred places in search of the story of our home. That is very brave of you, Marufa. My son. <laughs> I, 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 I didn't know there were elephants in this place. And ones that speak? And how do you know my name? Hmm. Kineti. Neither you, your parents, nor your parents' parents have ever seen my kind here. But it was not always so. Woo! Woo! There was a day when I and countless members of my family freely roamed the plains below this plateau. This was the land of the elephants, and all the creatures bowed to us. But then the creatures of your kind arrived, hmm? and everything began to change. Hey, and now, more than ever before, this mountain is in grave danger. For an evil has arrived that is more powerful than we have ever imagined. But Masichab, what is this danger you speak of? I am afraid. Hmm. For you and your generation will defend your inheritance and heritage against this danger. But first you must learn the truth. Let me show you the heart of our ancient story so that you can be wise to confront this evil. I am your protector and nothing can harm me on this journey. Good morning all. I would like to read one of my favorite poems to you by Jaku Jacobs. Wurms met de mati saus, wurms op jou brood. Wurms is boe baas kos, levendig of dood. Wurmpies vir aand ete en wurms vir ontbijt. Mopani wurm roer braai vir een lintwurm aan tyd. Meelwurms is heerlik, aardwurms is tops. Eet jou wurms net so heel, of probeer eers wurm chops. Een lekker warm wurm, koort nie te bieke sout. En vir pikniks verkies ek my wurms lekker koud. Good morning boys. As part of the Heritage Day Assembly this morning, I'll be talking to you about a dance that has formed a rich part of our history. That is, of course, gumboot dancing. Gumboot dancing started when South Africa started their gold mining. Miners who worked in these gold mines worked in harsh conditions. They were deep underground. It was extremely wet and very dark. The employees who didn't want to drain the water out of the mines decided that they would supply all of the miners with a rubber waterproof boot called a gum boot. These boots were worn by the miners um, underground for the entire shift. Once their shift was over, they would like to express themselves um, through dance. And by wearing these boots, they would uh, express themselves by tapping the sides of the boots, stamping their feet, and of course they would attach some rattles to the sides of the boots so it would make another sound. This is of course gum boot dancing. They also used this tapping of their boots as a form of communication when they were underground because they were not allowed to speak to one another. Nowadays, gum boot dancing is seen all over the world and has become a very rich part of our heritage. Now have a look at four of the grade seven boys who are going to perform this dance for you. Bow your heads and let us pray. 
Father, we thank you for South Africa. We thank you for the people. We thank you for our rich cultures, so many diverse cultures that make one wonderful country that is rich in people and heritage. We ask that you bless each one of us this morning and be with us as we celebrate Heritage Day this weekend. Amen. Thank you everybody for joining us with our assembly this morning. We hope that you have also enjoyed the wonderful items of entertainment together with the meaningful messages that are so important during this time. Stay safe. Goodbye.